Good morning, everyone. Got a surprise. Well, you guys might see it from the thumbnail. Um, I picked up a Fiskars, the X27. Tried it out last night when we got home from town. And boy, does it split. I had some rounds there at the house. I split up and yeah, it was nice uh, buckskin tamarack, but it was almost effortless. I was just barely swinging. Look at that beauty. Went and wrote my name and number in there. Uh, took a wood burner and engraved my name on it. Just in case it gets left behind, you know, maybe a good honest person will pick it up and uh, give me a call. But hopefully we don't leave them. Uh, so far right now, I plan on buying some more of these. Um, very impressed. We'll get it in some skanky uh, fur dug fur and uh, see how she does but i'm gonna plan on buying one more of the x27s and then the 28 inch i can't remember what they are, are they the x25 i can't remember but the 28 inch handle i'm gonna buy three of those one for each of the kids i'm gonna buy kelsey one of the 36s or the x27 so yeah i'm excited to use that uh, gonna do two loads today. It's gonna be kind of a cleanup day. I got some I got rest of this log here. I got some tops that are still good. I'm gonna get those cleaned up and then I got about six blocks down the road where I was yesterday. Get those cleaned up and just kind of clean up what I got left. I got a butt right here I need to clean up. That way it's I'm not leaving a big mess behind, you know. Yeah, there's gonna be limbs and bark and stuff, but get all the good usable firewood cleaned up I'm gonna buck this log in a couple pieces and uh, pull it out here in the open so I can get it cut up using a 441 today 32 inch bar uh, a full skip chisel round file One of the folks commented on uh, these bottlenecks on my gas can. They are from A&W Root Beer Bottles. I'll have to do a video. I'll get a couple and uh, cut them. I need to replace. I busted one of these caps. Just the pressure of the hot heat making the can expand this summer when it was 100 plus degrees. But yeah, A&W Root Beer uh bottlenecks oh well, you can see i spilt a little bit but definitely make it a lot easier pouring you know when you got when you have that to pour out of it's a lot easier than trying to pour out of the big hole when you take the cap completely off As you guys seen in yesterday's video, I uploaded it this morning, but uh, <laughs> that lightning, man, oh, it scared the heck out of me. I'm going to get this warming up and uh, buck this log up, and then we'll uh, get it pulled out. folks just seen i bucked it three pieces i'll pull this piece out and then 
I might have enough chain to reach those two, but I'm gonna pull this out, clean up what I have here, and then if I need more, I'll uh, stop down below and uh, cut some uh, blocks up down there. If you haven't noticed, I got a, one of the kids in the truck. He's uh, got a pretty bad cold. Um, it's nothing serious. We took a couple tests, but uh, just didn't want him getting any other children sick. Just common courtesy, you know. So he's home today. He's gonna be chilling in the truck. So what we use for uh, marking our logs when we do mark them is uh, sidewalk chalk. Works great. Got that off of uh, Outdoors with the Morgans. Um, yeah. Had this shirt for a while. I, the only reason I never really wore it was I don't really care how long it is. I'm thinking about just cutting it straight off or maybe seeing if I can find someone to him it up, you know, about two inches or so, two and a half. And uh, maybe Kelsey's grandma can. That or I'll just cut it off and it'll be a logging shirt. So I'm gonna mark up some of these tops right here. It's excellent buckskin fur. So this uh, marking stick is uh, about 15 and three quarters inches. Reason I do it like that instead of a straight 16 is usually by the time you get back, especially on the Ford, by the time you get back, you got a little bit overhanging on the truck. Um, so it just gives an extra quarter inch per row. Uh, the bed's just over eight feet long on that Ford. It's like eight foot two, I think, but it just never fails. By the time we get back to the back, there's overhang and you know, it, it's not gonna fall off, but people behind me on the highway probably think, oh man, that wood's about to fall off.
need to adjust the carburetor on that saw a little bit.
Still log TVs. That's my next investment. That way it's easier rolling. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put the fist gears to work. Man. It does not get stuck like that Husky of Kelsey's. They almost have the same splitting profile, but this one's a little bit more blunt. I'm digging it. Doesn't have the comfort of a wood handle though, but it's not bad. Must be on a knot. That and being stacked close together probably don't help. So as you guys see me splitting this way, I line all the cracks up this way. That way all these blocks hold themselves up. I'll come back through and quarter them. That way you don't have to uh, set them all back up again. So if you line all the cracks up going this way, boom, they're gonna bust in half, fall over, and then you gotta set them all back up. Just a little time saver. I like that little grip right there. Keeps the axe from sliding out. I took my gloves off just because with that wood handle, it's a lot slicker, but I think I could wear gloves with this just fine.
money. Woo, that head is hot. Digging it. Must be a knot there. Well, I'm gonna get this loaded, get it delivered. Can't do the gloves no more. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that, Fiskers. No doubt about it. Now, if you're Mr. Cool Guy and gotta use your wood handles, I mean, teach your own, I guess. I love my wood handles, but as I said once before, for production, firewood, um, and the warranty that a Fiskers has, you just can't beat it.
y'all are wondering why I'm leaving rounds, they're not that big. Most everyone I sell to has uh, bigger wood stoves and that's right there. I'll throw a couple of those in my wood stove every night and it'll burn all night long. Throw about three of those rounds like that. Oh yeah. Why didn't you guys stop me? Could have said, whoa, you're about to run over your saw. Just kidding. That was perfect. Blooper reel. No, this Fiskers, money. I love it. So far, so good. We'll get it in some of that bigger fur down the road when we come back. Uh, I don't know if I'll do any more videoing on that. Starting to run out of storage space on the phone. But well worth the money. Like I said, I'm going to buy one more 36 inch and I'm going to buy three 28s. So anyway, thank you folks for watching. We wish you good health and happiness as always. Um, thank you guys for watching all of our videos, showing support, joining our live feeds, the comments, the kind comments. As for the negative comments and stuff like that, yeah, whatever. Um, stay positive, stay healthy. We'll catch you guys on the next one.